I'm back, and I have a new joke. It's really good. Um, what did the acorn say when he grew up? So we'll get back to that at the end. What did the acorn say when he grew up? All right, um, we're going to talk today about finding um, angle measures in polygons. So, um, hopefully you looked at the um, activity that we assigned before this. We were, you probably already figured this out on your own and discovered this, but if not, let's put it out here. So I'm going to draw um, any old polygon. I think I'm going to end up here with a hexagon, a six-sided one, but no particular um, shape or anything. It's not a regular hexagon. Um, angles one, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six angles, six sides. The number of sides I have in this um, is six. Okay. Six, six sides in this polygon. There's a little formula that can tell you the sum of the measures of the angles. Okay. Our book has a longer notation. On, we can just call it this, okay. the sum of the interior angles. The sum of the interior angles is the number of sides, subtract two, times 180. And so we just plug in 6 here because we have a 6-sided shape, hexagon, and, um, and just simplify. So I get 4 times 180, 720 degrees is the sum of the measures of the internal in interior angles of the polygon. Uh, let's just, and, and you'll be able, you know, you might have problems where we give you five of these and you have to solve for one. Um, you might have to just practice with that. We'll be practicing in class. Uh, our book lists a corollary to that theorem, um, and it simply states this, that any quadrilateral, and of course this makes sense, any quadrilateral, what the internal, uh, the measure of the interior angles is 360, right? Because if I put a 4 up here, 4 minus 2 is 2, 180. So for all quadrilaterals, um, it's 180. This is just a little algebraic proof. So for four sided figures, it's 180. So you can, you know, we don't have to, you already knew that, but I just wanted, we kind of, the book connects it to the fact that a quadrilateral is a polygon. But it's kind of a special polygon. Okay. Um, Here's a problem, just applying that theorem. So I have a shape not drawn to scale. I'm not that good. Um, and these guys are congruent. And I know all these guys. And I'm going to call this x and I want to solve for x. So again, our little formula, sum of the interior angles is the number of sides minus 2 times 180. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sides. Just going to do some of the work here for you. So that's 3 times 180, 540. The sum of the interior angles for this shape is 540. So now I can, I can set up an algebraic equation to solve for x because I know that 93 plus 156 plus 85 plus 2x, so those congruent symbols help me here, equals 540, almost out of space, sorry, equals 540. And then I'm just going to solve for x. Add these guys up. Subtract 334 from both sides, and I'm going to just do this math for you, and divide by 2. So, oh, x equals 103. Sorry about that. x equals 103. x doesn't equal 103 degrees. It's not 103 degrees degrees. x equals 103, because the degree, degree symbol is here. Okay, the one other idea in this lesson it has to do with the ex exterior measures of an angle. Sorry, exterior angle measures of a polygon. So I drew myself, and this part, just watch. You don't have to draw any of this in your notes. 
Um, I drew myself a polygon. I happen to be a pentagon. And I labeled the exterior angles. And I always made sure to pick the same exterior angle. So I'm kind of picking the one, the one that's kind of on this side and then again on the far left side, the far left side. I labeled them one, two, three, four, and five. And I'm just going to kind of visually show you this formula, if you will, and then we'll apply it. So I took that and I made this, ooh, right? And I colored all those angles. Again, they're the exterior angles that are all in the same position around any, po this is for any polygon, but I'm sort of doing a visual proof with this polygon and it works on any one. If I take all those guys and put them together, um, if all goes well, it will go well. It will be so wonderful. And they always will make um, a circle with 360 degrees, whether it's seven sides, eight sides, 2,000 sides, uh, five sides, whatever it is. Those, some of those ex the sum of the exterior angles that are all in the same position are 360. So just a little visual proof of that. So if uh, we can write that as um, simply this, and again, our book gives a little longer version of this, but it's simply this, sum of the exterior angles is 360 of any polygon. So I'm going to just do a quick problem. So I'm going to draw in here a quadrilateral. Mm. Let's have this go down a bit. Okay. And again, so I'm going to be concerned with these exterior angles all in the same position. Let's call this one x plus 20 degrees, 112 degrees, 96 degrees, and x degrees. So those exterior angles that are all in the same position should add up to 360. The sum of them is 360. So we're just going to set up an equation. x plus x plus 20 plus 112 plus 96 equals 360. Yikes. Okay. Um, and then that's it. Combine like terms and solve for x. 2x plus 228 equals 360. Um, again, I'm doing this work for you because I know you know how to do that. Divide by 2, x equals 66. Not 66 degrees, just 66. What did the acorn say when he grew up? G, I'm a tree.